As for more on this is Lord John Taylor of Warwick. He is a member of the House of Lords in the British Parliament. Uh, Lord Taylor, first of all, thank you for joining us. Well, greetings from London. Greetings. Many good friends over there. So why did it fail? Why is Brexit getting so much opposition? Well, this is a real mess. I mean, we had the referendum to leave the European Union three and a half years ago, and we're still talking about it. They're saying we need more time. We've had three and a half years. The Prime Minister wants to get on with it. He wants to honour the vote of the British people. This is ridiculous. You know, this is what Winston Churchill called activity, not action. Delay is just more and more dither. You know, we need to decide, not slide, as we continue to do. But meanwhile, you've got tens of thousands of protesters showed up at Parliament Square to protest this. They want another vote. They are anti-Brexit. Can you explain why? Well, that's anti-democracy, because the people have voted. People voted to leave the European Union. You know, we have lots of information, but we need more revelation. Information can often be... You know, incorrect. A lot of the argument is about how much money and the finances. Yes, that's important. But, you know, it's not just about profit. It's right. about the but, prophetic. But if it's I about the future of our children and grandchildren. Right. It's if not I, just if, about profit. If I may it, jump in, prophetic. excuse me, Lord Taylor, but, you know, I know you're saying that the, 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 the people voted, but they've had three years, and it wasn't voted in by a, a wide margin, first of all, and you've, they've had three years, and they're looking to see what could possibly happen, uh, more time to kind of check under the hood of the car to see what might happen if uh, the U.K. exits uh, from the EU. So there they are. They're sitting out there still protesting. So maybe they want another, another shot at this to say perhaps we should stay. But how many shots do we need? This wasn't a snap decision. We have talked about this for three and a half years, not three and a half months, three and a half years. The people are sick and tired of it. People want to talk about housing, education, the health service. You know, Brexit has sucked the oxygen out of other issues. We need to get on with this now. The people have spoken. Let's act upon that. Well, meanwhile, you, you know, he says he's not giving up. Is Prime Minister Boris Johnson more determined now or emboldened? Yes. Or is this a political blow to him in some way? No, there's something of the Winston Churchill, I think, in uh, Boris Johnson. I think he's part American. I'm married to a Texan, so I know uh, how we're going to get to that. Americans I know about, I know about your, your, your wife. <laughs> no, uh, Lady Laura's an amazing lady. No, uh, this won't put him off. Um, he wants to carry out the mandate of the British people. And I think people will get very angry with uh, Parliament for delaying democracy, which is what they're doing. So will the UK ultimately leave the European Union with no we, we deal? Will. With no deal? Uh, well, we want to avoid no deal, but the way they're frustrating everything, we, there's a danger of no deal. You see, eventually, you see, the, the European Union is an empire. All empires fail eventually. You know, the Persian Empire, the Egyptian Empire, Roman Empire. Now we have the European Empire. They always fail because they overreach, they overtax, they put too much burden on the member nations. And the European uh, Union will eventually collapse. This is just the beginning. And, and I probably That's a prophecy. I pro oh, okay. We will come back on to see if your, your prophecy uh, holds true uh, oh, in the future. It will. I, you I watch the space. I, I should have pre uh, prefaced this by saying that you are pro-Brexit, but I think uh, our views have been able to, to, to glean that from your answers. Oh, you guessed. So let me, <laughs> let me go to your wife, your uh, Lady Laura Taylor, who says she is, an, she is a Texan. Uh, where She's in, a Texan. Where in Texas, by the way? Houston, Texas. All right, yeah. H-Town. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Considering... She also lived uh, in Wisconsin for a while, but uh, Texan raised. Well, yeah, you can't leave Texas once you're born and bred there. Uh, let exactly. Me go, let me go there with you, though, because since your your wife um, is a Texan, uh, Lady Taylor, tell us why should Americans care about Brexit? Well, you know, this isn't just a British thing. Whether you live in Miami or Minnesota, this is relevant to Americans too. Because the thing about Brexit is we want to do more trade outside of Europe with the rest of the world. And our biggest trading partner outside of Europe is America. But the reason we can't do more with America is because of the, well, the stranglehold of the European Union rules. So Brexit will allow us to do more trade with Americans. And we have a president who's very keen on Britain. After all, his mother uh, was British. But would and you, indeed, would, uh, excuse me, but will you have that leeway to, to negotiate with America the way you would like to uh, if there is no deal on this Brexit? 
I think we can get over this because uh, your president is a man who gets things done. It's about the art of the deal. And I think he wants to deal with nations, not empires. The European Union is an empire. He doesn't want to deal with an empire. He wants to deal with an individual nation. And he's already said that he's keen to do work and trade with Britain. Very quickly, you've made your, your predictions about the empire falling, but any idea of when this Brexit thing is going to be settled and how it ends? I think it'll be sooner than later. You see, the European Union don't want to lose Britain, which is why they're making it so difficult, because they think that France and Germany and other countries will follow very quickly. But I, I think, uh, I'd like to think by, by October the 31st, that's the deadline that uh, the Prime Minister is looking to. Okay, so if Britain, uh, the European Union does not want to lose the UK, perhaps they will come up with a deal that works in your, in your favor. So we'll see. I'm exactly. Absolutely. I agree with you. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. Uh, you know this far better than I. But for now, we leave it there. Lord John Taylor of Warwick, thank you very much thank you. for joining us. Thank you.